Okay, guys, I'm back. I've been working on the carafe all day. I have the first slide on. I sorted the fifth valve. Everything works perfectly. I'm very happy with it. This now works nice and smooth, no problems. My lever right here, I have to adjust the thumb ring. It's not exactly where I want it. Works really well. Goes down there like that. I reversed the position. It used to go here, but the old lever when you pushed it down, it was a lever like this. So when you pushed it, it pulled the valve, which right there would be good. It would pull the valve. But this is a pushing lever. It goes there directly in the direction of that. So I had to silver solder on this little bit right there so that I have this. Works good. This is tapped into the bottom of the post. See if I can get my hand in there. Right there, can't see that. Well, whatever, and then my thumb thing went good. The bracket is now, instead of lying from here, going underneath to right there, which was when it would cool off, this span, would it would expand then when it cooled off, after it was attached to the tubes, it would contract back to where it was, pushing the two ends together, causing them to bind. I got fed up with it. So instead, I moved the bracket over here so that it's parallel with the valves. Gives me a rod that's parallel with or perpendicular to the valves. I reused the thumb pad. I turned it 90 degrees. It, it used to be like this, and I just really hated it. But like this, I like it. So this is the carafe one. The rest of this is a nickel silver Rube Goldberg thing that I came up with. See there. And there's my Voigt thumb ring. The original carafe linkage. I didn't have to do anything to it. I just had to change the stop arm a little bit. And my slide now, because of this being rotated, I can't see what I'm doing, uh, from here all the way out so that it's up. That took all the binding off of this, so now this moves very freely. I'm happy with that. So the only thing I have left to do, other than change out all these tubes to nickel silver, once all that's done is I need to come up with a bridge between these two that won't pull that out of alignment when it contracts. So it's gonna be probably thin brace rod, you know, some of this stuff here. The only thing I haven't done is I forgot to solder that in place. That's loose right now. I'll, I'll fix that tomorrow. I have three performances in the morning and this is more than tight enough and it doesn't bind on anything so i'll fix that tomorrow so the next step will be to pull off all of the third and the second slides and retube them like this they won't be a problem there is nothing anywhere near as horrible as this thing here so and then i have to figure out this he has an inner tube an outer tube and a ferrule on the outer tube going to the dog leg so apparently there is a step inside from the inner slide leg that just goes off into space. So I have to play with that a bunch and figure it out. Other side's a little weird too. Outer slide tube with a ferrule onto the valve. Does that mean that the bore is bigger in the valve and it's smaller in the slide? I don't know. Has this little rigmarole here to expand from 19 to 20 millimeters from the 19 to the 20. These three are 18. And of course, I've altered the bores like I showed in that one post. I'm going to put this online, and then I'm going to post all my pictures. I'll see you all later. Bye.